Hey Samurais and welcome to today's video. Also, Happy Halloween! So today's video, I wanna talk about how to address DMX fixtures. Now, one of the things that I do a lot of with my company is we'll go into nightclubs, bars, theaters, and we'll do some work on their lighting system from replacing panels uh, to adding new fixtures into their system. So we need to know DMX addresses. Now, if they're using new modern day fixtures, that's great because they all have digital interfaces. So I can just look up and I can see, okay, that fixture's 128, that fixture's 64. But if they have older fixtures we're working with, they use a DMX dip switch system. And when I look up and I see switches one, three, and four, if I didn't know what the corresponding values those numbers were, um, it could get a little hard, or if I make a mistake doing math, I might not know exactly what uh, starting value that fixture has, and then all kind of craziness can go on. And that's where I found this app called DMX Dip. It really makes addressing DMX fixtures, especially old school ones, much easier. Let me show you how it works. If you guys could do me a big favor before we start, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, share these videos with your friends. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that little bell so you get all the notifications when we post new videos or go live. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and LinkedIn so you can stay up to date with everything we're doing. So of course, the first thing you need to do is go to the App Store and download the DMX Dip app. Now, once you open up the app, you're going to see the interface, and it's going to look like this. So say I look up at that picture, and I see channels at 2, 4, and 6 are up. Now I know instantly that it's channel 42. Now, say I'm adding another fixture, say that, so that's the last fixture in my line, so I'm going to add another fixture, and I know that that's a 16 channel fixture. I can just click this plus 16 down here, and now I know that my next fixture needs to be at channel 58. Now, say you're working with um, 8 channel fixtures, no issue, just click this little I right here, and then you can just go in here and you can change to 8, you also can do custom, so you can put whatever number you want, so I click done, and now my next fixture is 8 channel, I click 8, it tells me that I need to go to 16. Six. So it makes it real simple for me to address fixtures that are using the old DMX, DMX dip, switch. dip switch. All right, for those of you who want to know how to do the math, I'm going to explain it right now. So DMX math is very simple. It's just a doubling of the number. So the only thing you need to remember is dip switch one is a value of one. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So like I said before, the value for dip switch one is one. Now if I double one, that's going to be two. If I double two, that's gonna be four. If I double four, that's going to be eight. If I double eight, that's gonna be 16. If I double 16, that's gonna be 32. If I double 32, that's gonna be 64. If I double 64, that's gonna be 128. And if I double 128, that's gonna be 256. All right, now that we know all of the DMX dip switches values, Let's do an actual example. So now let's say I go to a theater and I wanna know the last lighting DMX address that was used in their lighting grid. So now I look at the fixture and I see the DMX switches and I notice three, five, and seven are flipped up on the fixtures dip switches. So the first thing I know is that three is actually a value of four, five is actually a value of 16, and seven is a value of 64. So if I add four plus 16 plus 64, it equals 84. So now we know the last starting value of the DMX fixture in their lighting grid. So as you can see, doing the math is fairly simple for DMX addressing, but I still like using this app. I feel that it just makes addressing the DMX fixtures quicker. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you're new around here, think about hitting that subscribe button. Also, make sure you're very, very safe uh, trick-or-treating. If you're going trick-or-treating or if you're taking your kids trick-or-treating, uh, please, please, please be safe out there trick-or-treating this year, but make sure to have fun. And until next time, guys, remember, say it with me, to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. Love you guys. I'll see you next time.